So we met Ricky here at best conference ever. This guy's an Alabama guy as well. Twice. Actually, believe it or not, I, want, I have an Alabama real estate license also, but I'm really in Georgia. We're here in Atlanta. I'm about 45 minutes away from here. Ooh. Right across the line, we do a real good real estate stuff. But Orange Beach, you got to talk to Ricky because he knows what's going on. We were talking to him earlier at dinner about what all he does for the real estate industry, how he helps his clients close more deals. Yeah. Which is what it's all about. So we were happy to meet him, broaden our horizons, further our connections, and you know, open up networking, but really, when you get a chance as a real estate professional to come to stuff like this, you learn more, you share more, and the winner is our clients. Making it happen in the ATL. Working on like four or five deals right now, fixing to do this speech, change some people's lives, and uh, just make the world a better place. I think I think everything's a practice run. Like you have to look at everything like it's a practice run. Absolutely. Because, because you're never going to be at the top of your game because there's always another level. How you doing? How you doing? Oh shit, dude! You want some moonshine? Boy, I know who's going to drink that. Boy, Blake. Boop, boop. Let's see. The best T-shirt ever. If you look at it like when you're making cold calls, if you're scared to make calls, right? Go ahead and make 5,000 calls, not expecting to get any deals out of it. Look at that as a practice run, right? These, these speeches I'm doing are practice runs for me. This is practice, Same here. right? When I, when, I get, when I start speaking for thousands of people, that's gonna be practice for me from what I'm gonna talk to tens of thousands of people. My clients, like I, like I go after deep relationships. Everything is a practice run for the real thing that never comes. I just want to say a couple words to let you know that the, the food is open, but um, this is my favorite barbecue place in Atlanta. It's called DBA. So what's the number one reason, just boil it down to one, that you think people don't take action when you know they should? Like if you tell them you should do this on Facebook, you, it will make you money and they don't, what do you think's the reason? Fear. Fear, right? They're just scared. And what are they afraid of? I don't know. As a kid, you take it for granted. You don't, uh, you don't know how good you got it until you, until you try to venture out and, and, and you know, try to, to you know, see what else is out there in the world, and then you realize, wait a minute. There's nothing to be afraid of, right? But fear is, fear is the number one thing that holds people back. Yeah. Once I made it to the top, you know, I just put my head down to work. Right. And like, and like by the time I made it to the top, you know, and got to catch my breath 15 years later, I look back and wait a minute, Facebook and social media and all these things have been around for maybe five, six, seven years by then. And I was like, man, I think I might have missed the boat of something here by just being blinded by just trying to be the best. And so now I've incorporated all these old school techniques with all of these new technology techniques. And now it's a monster. So I think me and you both know there's no shortage of success. There's no shortage of, uh, of, of listings and, and the amount of business that's out there because there's gonna be a big chunk that's not gonna do anything anyway. You're not scared of it. I'm certainly not scared of it. And so I think that we almost feel the obligation that, hey, what can we do to help? But I was like, he's awesome. So I like was totally like such a fan. There's legit coaches that charge, okay? Um, but how do you know the difference? Because they all look the same. And this is and this is why I coach for free to separate myself from the entire pack. That way, people don't have to make a judgment call: is he legit or is he not? He's charging, so I'm all, I'm automatically in that bucket of people who are charging for coaching, right? But then out of that bucket, now which is he? 
is he legit or is he not? I don't even want that decision day. I don't even want anybody to even have to make that decision. I would rather be free, make money off of books and speeches, and actually provide more value than all the paid coaches put together. Now, so what got your actions? Like, how do you know you're at the right level of activity? Because I give it everything I got every day. What can I do for y'all?